everybody, Torgali, and welcome back to another episode of Quantus here on the FTOG server. Wow, this one grew fast. I am growing some Sakura because I want to shear a bunch of the leaves and I also want some of the wood. So where did I put my shears? There they are. Okay, good. Um, and today, let me, while it's night time, hopefully nobody sleeps, I wanted to show you guys something over here. Check it out. We got a waterfall and down here it's nicely lit up. I, I lit this up, I'll show you in a second how, but I am up here there's two water water wheels from immersive engineering and of course you can't see them oh, because there's glass right here. But can we reach there? There we go. You look at Wayla on the bottom right, you see there's a water wheel here and so there's a, a triple there and a triple over here and each side has a kinetic generator, a kinetic dynamo, sorry, with a simple power cell on top feeding our network i i wanted to have a waterfall over here um, for the longest time and i just set this up it was very simple building the water wheels right um, especially now that we have the coke oven and the blast furnace but um yeah this this is it i did a little bit of a retaining wall over there and around here you know just dressing it up here and there and then planted some of these trees i didn't plant them i built them sorry and kind of just you know trying to hide away the straight runs from the from the waterfall up here because then down here it's actually falling like a waterfall it is behind it um open almost everywhere you can you can go behind it you know because it flies straight down and then down here there was no water um i closed off a cave over on this side and over here i didn't do anything i just filled it so over here was all the trees and i'm like you know what it looks really cool i actually like this the only thing oh oh there's a little bit of water thingies happening here. Is that you causing it? No. All right. Where's my water stick? There we go. That was it. This is the only thing that bugs me a little bit here that you can see the water kind of flowing against the leaves. But it is fine. Um, barely anybody's ever going to come down here and check this out. And I hung some of these here. This is the icicles. Those are these right here. Hanging lights. Um, well, no, no, no. Sorry. These right there. The icicle lights. Um, instead of the lanterns, I use these. These look almost like a, a Christmas lights, don't they? Where, where you have these little strands and different heights running down. But I wanted to have some kind of a light down here. So when you're up there, you can see, hey, this is built down there, right? To, to give it a little bit of an attention when you're up here. Did somebody sleep or did it? Is it already morning? Anyway, it doesn't matter. So what I want to do today, guys, there is so many things I have on my imaginary to-do list, you know, in my head of the things that I want to do. Um, just to give an update, I moved everything uh, after last episode over into our storage system here. So our, everything is gone out of the, uh, the tavern. The only thing that I still do over there pretty much now is... Um, what do I still have over there? Oh, yes, the, the blast furnace and the coke oven. And the magic area is where it is. And I'm most likely going to leave it there. Because besides, you know, using the things here from um, blood magic, as well as a few things from, uh, sorry, from Botania, as well as a few things from blood magic, I barely use any of this stuff, right? Um, and before we do the auto crafting today, which I wanted to get in today, that I wanted to get done last time, I wanted to work a little bit on the exterior here, right? Um, because there is a, a million torches. These torches up here I just placed because I need this grass to spread. And it doesn't seem to spread because it doesn't have sky axis. Like these up there, none of them spread. It's been like that for over a day. So I placed all these torches and now instantly all this grass right here spread, right? Um, I want to work on the outside. Like I said, there's a million things on my to-do list. And one of them is, you know, remove all the torches. I don't want to see the torches anymore. So if we want lighting, we're going to have to figure out another nicer lighting option. You know, because it when it's night, I do would like to have a light here. Well, you know, like one, then one down here, maybe one up here. Just so there is a little bit of lighting everywhere. But because of the mega torches, we don't need to worry about mob spawning. Um, actually, down here, I might have to place another mega torch somewhere. But... Overall, I want to tie it together. This path right here is very boring. This was just meant to, you know, temporary. So I want to fix this area up. I want to fix this area up here. 
then also do something along this side right here. At least, you know, make it look overgrown. You know, it's a very plain and boring uh, side of a mountain here. So, but if we put a bunch of shrubbery here, and then also I want to like put in a bunch of the Sakura stuff. I want to have the Sakura trees everywhere. So for example, let's just put one right here and let's just see the difference for a second. If I put one here and can you grow? Yes. Just look at this. That makes a huge difference. I actually like it there a lot. This is perfect. <laughs> um, and then, you know, maybe put a big jungle tree right here growing up. And then we got to put some kind of a retaining wall here. We can just have this exposed, you know, also for safety reasons. So people can just fall down and, and maybe put something else right here. Maybe, maybe later on with chisel and bitch, like some, some, a park bench or maybe i don't even need chisel and bits maybe i'll just do it the the old-fashioned way let's see real quick i could do that let's not go with dark oak for a change let's go with birch and let's make this a three-seater so for example we could have beautiful overlook we can see glitches uh temple entrance over there which is perfect let's put it right there okay and let's see if i have two uh item frames no i do not all right but i can make some right I, I can make everything on the go now let's go ahead and make two of these you know we don't always need to do chiseling bits i think every once in a while we could also do this here but i'm not really a big fan what about do i have any on me no what about if we use what no no i don't know how you get out of this field by the way once you have it focused do we have birch trap doors look at that i don't have any birch what impossible we will have birch in a second all right give me why does it show two here and here it shows six so there's two different ones okay um i can't can i use one of these i gotta get the one way we can yes we can all right right there and we can switch this is the ones i want right there okay so let's see what this looks like here excuse me guys my allergies are still acting up badly i'm i'm having a lot of problems this year with Ooh, i like this look check it out and i think would go no sorry get out of here I could have used the axe that would have been quicker but almost there give it back to me i think with an empty hand can't we yes because we have quark we can even sit here check it out so these are the kind of decorations i want to put around guys not everything needs to be chiseling bits i am gonna one day have a session where i'm gonna you know put on a good movie or something and then just go crazy with chiseling bits i'm gonna make a bunch of like like i would like to make a samurai statue samurai looking statue i don't exactly know if i'm gonna make it colorful or just gray i don't know yet and i want to make you know little bird feeders water fountains log benches whatever looks japanese okay um and then we can reuse that throughout the park and in interior and everywhere and do this but let me get back to what, what I want to get done here. I want to finish this area and then up here. I got to figure out something. Probably I was thinking of putting maybe a little pond here. And then maybe even having that flow in a small waterfall down here. Merging with this one. I think that would look cool. And then of course up here. There's got to be gardens. You know, lots of vegetations, hedges, flowers. It's going to be really, really overgrown. I want this to be stuffed with things, guys. These this garden here all the way around to here and then over here i still have to do some dressing up in this area you guys see i moved our tree farm up here it's a manual tree farm put this little log feature here a little raggedy looking bridge right there which i have to say the straight grass line behind it is kind of weird but if I chisel in bits that, then I would have to chisel in bits this and that and that. So I'm going to have to see. Maybe if I make this overgrown here and down here and so on, it's going to look better. And of course, you guys probably seen, I started planning the path right here that I want to have. And it's probably also going to come over this way. Let's see here real quick. Where's my shovel? Probably. 
Oh, you know what? We could do it like this. So instead of coming like that, we can come. This is, by the way, how I plan things here. I just go through here real quick with... Okay, this is so annoying. Um, you are it. Get off of here. Because I, I'm not a big fan of the step-up things. Why are these blocks flying around like that? Can I get them? Thank you. Aha. There it is. You know, and you just bring it over like this. And we're going to have a path come to somewhere over here. Because there's the other door, you know, that we also need to tie in. The other entrance, I should say. It's not really a door. So right about here. So this is going to be a path. And then probably have it come through here as well. Something like that. Yeah, to right about here. So the path is going to come and then also go this way. So in here we can have like a, I don't know, a bigger um, focal point. I don't know what it's going to be. Maybe a really big uh, cherry tree that I'm going to have to custom build. Because uh, actually I haven't tried that yet. Can we grow these directly next to each other? We can. Haha. -ha. Okay. So we might be able to make a bigger one this way. But we'll figure it out. Anyways, I'm going to have a lot to do. Um, and this Tory Bridge is the exactly same uh, design that we have over there. As you guys can probably tell, there's a lot of things going through my head. So I'm jumping from, from, from things to things. Sorry about that. But these are the exact same Tories that I had over, have over here. That, you know, with chisel and bits, it was really easy to copy this over here. And then it took me a long time to figure out the bend of this bridge. But I think it turned out pretty good. It does look kind of like a natural shape, right? If I would have gone down just with slabs straight, I would have ended up right here. And if I would have made it two, so always two slabs, one down, two slabs, and so on, it would have ended up right about here at this height. So I needed to figure this out. So this is four, three, three, two, 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 and then one, 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 one. And then up here, there's even stairs. So it looks like it has a pretty good slope, right? And then, of course, I have these uh, leather bantings. That's, I think, what they're called right here from fairy lights and give that kind of like the suspension here, right? And I like it. Um, I'm going to put a little focal area over here. I'm going to dress this up a bit. Techno gave me that idea. And then also up here to just kind of tie it together, right? The tree farm. So there's lots of things that I want to get done on the outside before we do some of the auto crafting setup that I want to do. But we'll get to this. So I'm going to have a lot of shearing to do and so on here. And I'm going to get busy and then I'll show you what I come up with so far. All right, a little progress update. Let's start over here in this corner. I planted the 2x2 two two jungle and I'm really happy how it grew because this branch right here is overhanging that roof, which is perfect. I could have not asked for a better 2x2 two two tree. And down here, I added a little retaining wall around this because it looked really odd having a tree, you know, getting cut off right there with the dirt. So this way it's hidden a little bit. Um, okay, Toddy, I'll ignore you. <laughs> um, and then just a little fence around it, just, you know, so it, it it's closed off. You know, that's the biggest problem right here. Having the, the, the side of the mountain then transition into the man-made built stuff right so like right here you guys can see i i always have the retaining brick which of course i'm still gonna chisel into some cracked and mossy and so on but first i build it and then i'll dress it up further and then on top here i have a bunch of the spruce logs which i i'm okay with i can't use that anyway for anything with the architecture craft um railing here right because i can't put anything else into this block space so even if i make this grass then um i still couldn't plant anything on it and so on but i have another idea for this as well to to break it up a little further and then over here i have some basalt in the back so it looks like it's a deep hole you know dark you cannot see it because this is actually hollow behind this this is that mountain here this entire area that i built afterwards again and I have the little natural spring coming out and running down underneath here. All this just natural. Filled this hole. And then I had to trickery around here so the water doesn't spread out. When I first let it run, it came all the way to over here. 
and fell down. So I had to restrict this a little bit. And it works nicely now and it merges with this one. I really like this. I, I'm, I'm very happy how this water feature turned out. And of course, we're still going to add sugarcane and lily pads and more greenery. You know, here's just the beginning. I'm not too happy about this little one here. It looks a little lost, but... Um, I wanted to show you guys these. Hi, Toddy. Um, the four trees right here. I just planted. This is naturally grown, by the way. This is a, a real small one, apparently. Um, I did not build this. But I'm not happy about the trees, guys. Um, I think that definitely not the birch or the jungle. I think that I am going to have the occasional Sakura here. Because, you know, cherry trees are really big in Japan. Um, so I want to have those around here, yes, and then over here I probably want to have a really big one, right? Um, so I'm going to take these down, but we're going to have little water features here also, like just little ponds here and there, and then dress around it. But what I wanted to show you here, for example, let's take this one right there. Let's break these two, and what we could do, for example, is have a little uh, stomp right here, main backspace right there and then we can use i gotta order some real quick let's get some leaves in here and just have this be a small one just like that you know even keep this open and then have it come down uh I might even fill this one in like that you know so i i can cut this out here i don't need to have the railing right this is just for decoration this is not supposed to stop you from falling down but something like this all over the place and you know what on this occasion here i might even mm, bring it down into the water like this and very seldom do i like them they're they're the bane of my existence okay i'm gonna have to send something back here for a second actually i don't need to send it back let's put this here let's put the walls there and let's put the sakura here and the fence is up there and stone get out of here as well good let's get the oh shoot what was i getting yes a vine let's get two of those and right here, we're going to have a vine right there coming down. And it's probably going to spread around the corner. And let's put another one here. All right. So there's going to have vines right there. So I do like it um, like this, you know, and, and the entire area. So I'm definitely going to take down these trees here. I don't like them being this tall. I don't think we should really have that big, a lot of big, tall things in here. Because, well, it's going to take away from the side of the... Of the palace right and some trees just do not work i don't like the birch at all let's get rid of this and this one here just grew wrong i don't like the way it grew so i'm gonna have to regrow this one let's let's see if we can grow this together real quick where did it go right there let's see if we get a bigger one this time here and let's put another one there please grow big or bigger than this little thing. Hey, hello. Okay, this is a good size. I actually like this size. Okay, and this is a little fuller than it was before. I still don't like this one. This I don't want any of these shorties. Can you please grow into something? Perfect. Oh, I like this one a lot, especially because it's overhanging. Oh, this is a perfect one right there. I like it a lot. So, oh my God. Um, sticks out of here. Good. Eat the, well, I don't need the birch anymore at all. Okay. Now, the other thing is, I, I do like the jungle leaves around here better, but I don't think we should limit ourselves only to those. So, for example, here, we can have another one right there. Let's get rid of one. Let's just get rid of one. So, have this one be a little smaller one. Yeah, like that. That's fine. But then we can also spread it over 
mm, I don't really want to have anything else here. So probably the next one would be, let's take it out to here and there. Okay, I'm going to need a couple more oak leaves because I wanted to see willow, spruce, oak. All right, you go back. I wanted to see if we can possibly, this can be above water, kind of mingle them up a little bit. What that would look like. Let's get this one to come down here. Like that. And then over here, we turn it into... All right. Like that. Not, not too shabby. Um, no, not there. There. Okay, like that. And then the rest we can fill up with the, with the railing right here. So right here we would actually have a corner one. Like that. You know, and that's just been overgrown. Of course, I can't actually overgrow the, the railings and so on. But this is what I'm going to do around the entire area here now. I thought I'm going to start this clip here at night because I'm really happy how the lighting turned out so far. Um, I replaced all the torches that are visible. Um, almost all of them. Some of them I kept in place. Um, like up there on right there on these on these pillars, these support pillars there. Because they, they, they're supposed to be there. I wanted to have torches there. But check it out. Isn't the lighting cool? I'm, I'm really happy. That is what I wanted to have. Just some, some lighting that makes it kind of glow. But it's not too bright. And you still have shadows here and there. And I'm just going to go ahead and fly around here at night. So you guys can see everything. And then I'm going to show you a few things. That I'm not too happy about. Um, but overall I am. I'm pleased. I'm I'm okay with it. Also notice here, I even planted some ro um, roseberry, <laughs> raspberry bushes. And here you guys see I used the um, mana blaster um, with the mana, flinch, mana flash lens. <laughs> I combined that into one word. Um, just so the lighting is there, but it's not a torch. And I'm okay with that little mystical feel to it. And right here is a big... Uh, jungle tree and so on. Let me just go around here. The bridges are kind of left dark. I mean, they're still, you know, it's not pitch black dark. Gee, what does this look like on Moody? I, I never look at my stuff at Moody. Ooh, this is cool. You know, that's how it would be in, in, in real life. You know, you wouldn't have floodlights everywhere. Okay, let's go back to the regular because it's probably much harder to see on YouTube. There we go. I like it. I'm, I'm happy how it turned out. Let me go ahead and sleep here real quick now. And then I'm going to show you guys everything. This is... Oh, I never showed you guys this here. Look how glowy it is in red now. Isn't that cool? I changed the... I took out that top layer. Um, that was that uh, hardened clay, the red one, that was kind of grayish. And I used flat colored blocks. A red glowing one. So this emits light by itself. Isn't it nice? I'm very happy how it is now with that with that real red. And I also started putting a few lights up here. The the immersive engineering uh, up there just so you got a little light up there, right? It's it's starting to come together the lighting. I'm 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 okay with it and over here I closed the windows. So now let's go ahead and sleep even though it's morning, too late, can't sleep anymore. Um okay, so let me show you guys. I have a lot to learn when it comes to landscaping. I, I really do. I am I'm not that good with landscaping. I really I really have a lot to learn. I don't know how else to say it. I'm okay with the path, even though I probably I you guys see I have a bunch of cobble in it now itself, but I think it even could use something else. Let's check here real quick. If I get Whoops, that was too much. Let's I, I just wanna see what it looks like. If I put a few gravel here and there. If that is noticeable. Not really. It's still gray. I'm going to have to figure out some other block. Let's get this out of here. And this. I don't want to send these back. And I, I don't need these. I thought I will, but I don't. Okay, and I can put this back. Okay, good. Sorry. Um, 
Didn't I break three? Yes, I'll, I'll figure out what to do with those later. So I probably need to put something else in here, guys. And, and you need to help me out um, with two things. Number one, it is very overgrown. I, I think it, it really makes it look finished. But is it too busy? It, is it too much? That's what I want to know from you guys. Like, is there too many too tall flowers? Is there too much grass, too much leaves, too many trees? Uh, please take a moment and go downstairs. Downstairs. What is wrong with me right now? I was so into programming. I'll show you in a minute what. And I probably so in thought that I can't talk anymore. Sorry about that. So just go down in the comments and uh, leave me a quick note. If you guys think that it needs something else. Um, overall, like I said, I am pleased. It does look quite nice. Also from the outside. All the way around. It, it really looks finished. It looks like, you know, people walk around here in the gardens and have a nice break on the on the benches and so on because i'm worried that if i start putting our um chisel and bit stuff around that it's gonna be even noisier right and you guys seen i am not sure what to put on the inside here okay that is something else if you guys have any ideas or uh, suggestions um leave me something down in the comments i'd really appreciate it um you guys always come up with some great ideas and i'm like oh man why didn't i think of that and then i implement that and so on um anyway so let me let me just show you the down down the path parts too um right over here i'm i'm very pleased about this corner i think this overgrown area is good i like it um i also covered up the the spring here a little bit you know because around springs you usually have a lot of vegetation right because it's the best water and so on and i think it looks it looks good um and then i Pull, pulled it down further a bunch of work over here in this area because i didn't want it to be exposed this right here i left open on purpose because well i don't think anything would really grow here and i don't want to put vines i'm so tired of vines <laughs> look at them they're everywhere um and again all the torches are gone did i just see a torch no that was a dandelion right there okay and then down here on this first landing um I dressed it up like this. It doesn't have as many flowers, but it has nice too. Look at this view. Oh, I'd love to sit here in real life. And then again, uh, over here, I changed out the path for our stone path, right? Because we had that, um, I, I think it's called path, right? What's that thing called from Minecraft itself? Um, path? Yeah, it is called a path. Grass path, okay. Which just didn't fit in here, right? So I changed it out for our stone path and didn't make it so square and so on. And then over here also more overgrown bushes. So I really, I spent many hours on this guy. So I really did. Um, and then down here, I finished this area as well. I, I like it. It's coming together. This pillar here still looks a little bit out of place. Maybe I put some vegetation around that to kind of hide it away. And then over here is kind of where I stopped because this is the transition to the... To the tunnel, this is still too plain. I think I still need to figure out what to do here. I was thinking of maybe making it overgrown, like a like a leaf tunnel. I think that would be cool. Or really just have leaves overhanging. Doesn't need to be a tunnel. So yeah, let me walk up so you guys can kind of see it from the ground. And then we'll go upstairs and we do something else that I think is going to be really cool. Um, now, the auto crafting, I'm going to show you that it works. And I have it set up and figured out. But I will not show you guys how to set it up in this episode. I'm going to make an actual short tutorial dedicated to it. Yeah, I definitely need to do something with this here. This is too, too plain. If you guys have any ideas for this also, please let me know. Maybe shave this, maybe look broken apart. And this is just too clean. But then from here on, I think it's, it's very cozy. Very cozy. Over here, like I said, I got to figure out what I want to put to in here. And between episodes, I'm going to work on a door design. Because this is going to be, you know, a giant door. Three of them. One, two, and three over there. Here, here, and here, right? And the pictures, uh, you guys gave me some really good ideas about a story. And I especially wanted to say thank you. I forgot who said it now. Apologize. I should tell the story from the right to the left. So it will start there and then end over here. And then the throne is going to be right there. And we're going to have window, 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 window. Okay, so I hope I showed everything from over there. Um, but today uh, we're going to finish off with something. I did dress this up here, by the way. I wanted to show you first on the 
What is this? The processor, right? Yes. You can over here switch this. Usually it's off. You can go log. Then it would show up any issues up there. So for example, if I say net setup storage, it will show you this up there, right? So it's a nice way that to see if there's errors or something like that. But I like the DB, the debug. Um, I saw that in Toddy's video and I always wanted to know how he does it. And it was just that button. It shows you the cores if they're doing something or not. Events, locks, waiting items, and so on. And the one up here, you guys see, switches from idle to busy. And that is this first program that we set up last time. The storage that comes from this ender chest to over here. And this is where I want to start first. Let me just put this away for a quick second. Okay, and also throw this away or out, out of here. So... Um, Toddy left me a comment, or I, th I don't know if he left me a comment. Or yeah, I think he, it was a comment. Um, you guys know how when we in this program right here, let me just load it up real quick because we got to change it anyway. This right here, I can clear. That's the auto crafting. Um, load this. I mean, very simple, right? We're simply taking from the ender chest um, and put it into slot zero right there. Right here. You guys see these other ones here are for auto crafting. Um, and then from there, we said, you know, take it and send it to this node underneath, right? Well, Tadi told me that what you can do is you can simply make a storage um, control module, right? That's the same one that we have in our module tablet right there. Shift right click this. Now it's set to the storage scanner, right? And now any program has access to our inventory. And we just have to make one change here. That means pushing items instead of, you guys see here, it says, or empty to access storage. Okay. So instead of here saying the node name, we can take the node name out. Scanner, and we set this up to asterisk again. So it's empty, right? And then we'll save this, take the card out, put it back here. And I guess I'll just put these in here now and check it out. It still works. And I don't need this node anymore because it was just talking to the scanner, right? So we can get rid of that. And now I have a spare note if I need one. I probably need many throughout the series, but uh, I'll get this here last. Um, so in the other program, I'm just gonna load it real quick again, just so you guys can see it. And let me put this back. Whoops, I gotta take it out first and put it back. Okay, so it's working and I had I watched McJetty, who is the mod author of RF Tools and RF Tools Control, um, amazing modder. Um, and I watched his spotlight, which is or he a quick tutorial. I think it's like four minutes long, which I'm gonna link, of course, when I make my uh, video tutorial, and also to Tadi, who explains it. But I still had problems understanding it. Um, but I think I figured out a way how I can set up a tutorial to explain it that even people that are not into programming and so on have an easier time understanding, okay? But this is the program overall. It pretty much what it does is just a quick review. Um, I don't even need to show you here. But what it does is here, these four blocks is everything you need, right? And we already had them last time. I had to add a note right here the workbench, the crafting station, and the modular storage here. And this modular storage, all this is gonna hold is our crafting card. So you guys see it's empty right now. But if I put a crafting card in here that has spruce planks, it now shows up here, right? And if I click it, just to show you real quick, if we go in here and check on the planks, there's no spruce wood planks, right? But if I come in here and click on this, wait, okay, done. It then shows us four spruce wood planks. That's why I have all these here, so I was able to show you guys better. Um, now, the only downfall is, and I know it's planned for the future, and I really hope that it's going to come, because then this would probably be my favorite auto-crafting system. Because once you have this program set up, which I you can make, Tadi, for example, made it, that you don't need to take any you don't need to write anything you can simply copy and paste the code he has on this tutorial video if you set up the nodes the same way he has it okay you need three nodes and two of these and um the workbench right there but anyway so just let me show you guys so in the future you know where everything comes from so now example if i want to have another recipe okay so now from the planks for example i would want to you um get sticks uh, right there 
And this is going to take a while now because I got to wait for spruce over here, I think. Or I can just do it manually so I don't need to wait. Let's get the planks out. So you can also do it this way and just... Whoa, it does 64. Okay, so one and one. And it doesn't show you right here. And then you click on update and it shows you, hey, this is now set to sticks, right? So now if I put this in here and go down here, I can make sticks. And so on and so on, right? So for example, hmm, let, let's go like this. This should be possible. So it actually uses the spruce. So if I do usage on the planks, right here, stairs, for example. I simply click on the plus, it adds it. Bam. Now I've got spruce stairs. And then on this one, for example, let's do usage. I probably want, let's see how quickly I can find the crafting table. Signs, I don't need, to, but that, those I don't need to make. Come on. Well, then I miss it. No. Let me scroll through. Chest. That's a good thing right there, okay? I want to, because spruce is going to be my main wood, right? And then I say, oh, it puts oak. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's just do it like this then. I did not check now. Oh, it makes a spruce chest. So you cannot choose the other one, but that's no problem. Because if we we know that, that is something I added. Let's go ahead and just finish this one. Like this. So I'm going to make one spruce chest. But now if I take another recipe, so this is spruce chest, stairs. I can come in here and if I put that in there and say update, it turns it into an oak chest. Okay, you, that's a recipe I added in the beginning. I think it's now by default, so it might be redundant to have that in here. But anyway, so we can put this in here. And bam, bam. And let's just go ahead and try that. So... It, it already have the planks, but it should make a spruce chest and then this. And it should show over here. Of course, I didn't pay attention. How many chests did we have? We have six. Let's order one more. Okay. And chest, we have seven. So it's a very cool system. You just cannot, you know, remote order, remote order thing. But what I was thinking is here, you know, it's still nice, for example, making pistons. Okay, it's a multi-step process often. Um, well, not pistons, but um, comparators. You need to make the redstone torches. And then you need to, um, for other things, you need to make redstone blocks and so on. But it, the, the system is smart enough that if you have the sub recipes, um, there are things that you need in it. Um, it, it's gonna craft everything so but anyways like I said look forward to this tutorial I'm probably gonna upload that the day after this video goes live and I'm gonna make a quick video about how to set this up and explain the code because I think some people would really like to know um, how the code actually works and it took me too long to figure it out to understand it so anyways we got our dialer over here right and I, I turned this off because I run around a lot here and then whoop, I'm in a tavern like oh, I didn't want to be here <laughs> So what I want to set up is a automatic dialing system here. We did this in Avant as well. I, I, you guys see, I have some power because I don't have any conduits or anything yet. So I just keep using power cells. And back here, this thing here, we don't need to get too often. It's a screen controller from RF Tools. Um, it does need power, and we also need to scan here in a second. But I'm going to have a screen right here, right? So I'm gonna need to break this one. Right click it and scan. And now it shows one connected screens. All right, so let's close this off. And in here, we're going to have a button up there. When I click it, it's going to dial to the tavern and whatever other future destinations I want, right? But in order to do that, I need to use a simple dialer, okay? So one time I need to dial from my place to the tavern. I'm going to say dial once. And I'm going to ro shift right click the transmitter. You don't need to have it dialed, by the way. So, oh, it does. I don't think it does both. It was already set, but anyway, I set the transmitter, right? And then you can go through um, to your other de destination and shift right click to set the receiver. So now I tied this simple dialer from my transmitter to this receiver, right? And this one here is always going to be dialed to this place here, so it doesn't matter. So now I have that dialed. And now we can come 
over here and I'm gonna set them up for now in this area I'm not really sure where I want to have them you guys see I have a sign here with tavern and I'm gonna smack this on the wall okay if it arrow I need it to be facing down so you can just oh, dial once uh, when you just right click it enable dial once okay and shift right click oh, it just pops it out wait can I not can I not turn you with the wrench Huh. Okay, maybe if I press against the top one. Okay, so now it looks downwards. And we're going to take a redstone receiver and put this... This one we can turn. So now the receiver is pointing into the dialer right there, okay? And then we'll take this button module here. And shift right click this. And now this is set to channel 1. Uh, nobody else is using them on the server yet? Or is this like by player channel one? I'm not sure. But so now if this gets triggered, it will trigger the simple dialer. Let's just double check. This is set to dial once mode. Okay. And now we can take this module. And come over here and then shift right click the screen. And put that in here. And then under button, you just put in the label tavern or whatever you want. And right here, for example, if I say right. Oh, it doesn't do anything. I think that is if you have something here. Test. Okay, so it just aligns it to the right, but I don't want anything on it or uh, an actual test text. I just want the just the, the the label on the button. That is all and button color. Interesting. Well, let's go with something. I don't know what color do we like? What's our tavern? It's like brown, I guess. Huh? There's no brown. All right, let's just leave it at default. So now if I click this once, you guys see it dialed it and we can go through. And when we come back, you're going to see it turned off because we have it set to dial once. And done. Now, I would like to test something real quick because I'm intrigued now. So let's make another um, simple dialer. I'm not going to do the whole spiel um, with everything else. Go ahead and give me that one. Okay, I wanted to see is if I dial to somewhere and right click it, if that's so, let's say I'm going to come from here to, um, I guess the end wouldn't be bad. Okay, so let's say dial once. Now if I shift right click this, it does set them both. Okay, so you don't need to go through. That is actually really cool. I did not know that. So that that's good to know. Okay, so let's interrupt this. Um... And this is ready. So everything here is ready. We we made this easier. So now we have an easy access to our storage whenever we do any RF tools control programs. Because I'm pretty sure there's going to be more. But I wanted to point this out. You guys remember earlier in the clip, uh, Toddy was running by and said, don't mind me. And then he told us in Discord, everybody, you know, check, check your storage room. And I came here and there's this chest here, right? A handy chest with a private card. And this book, which we're going to take a look at in a second. And I wanted to move this chest. I didn't want it here, right? But I cannot break this. This is secured because he has the private card in there. And I cannot take it out either. I cannot take this card out, right? So, we have a... We have a... What do you call this? I, I don't know. But Toddy is pretty much putting a lockdown on the server. Um, and he wrote us this book right here a body storage bs that's right bs welcome to bs solutions where any storage problem is a bs problem here's a one-time introductory offer of free chest and installation of a bs solution no subscription fee included bs is non-removable yeah bs can be transferred when agreed upon by all parties location is decided by the bs transfer so that would be me BS transfer can be forced with a mutual accepted duel. Combatants will agree on dueling gear. Uh, the winner of the duel will then decide where his or her place at BS chest will be placed. And so on. Um, the transfer cannot be made with a non-customer. I reserve the right to execute all transfers. Transfer BS must be placed in the transfer space. So what this is about, guys, is... And I think it's really fun. He placed one of those in every base, right? And we need to duel. 
okay? So let's say I'm going to duel with somebody. And I win, okay? I can then tell Bad Tadi, take my chest and put it in person X's house at this location, okay? So I can block with my chest that person. And then I don't have a chest anymore. And I am out. So people cannot duel me anymore, right? Um, but if I lose, then whoever I lose to, their chest will come over here. And they can put it right there, for example, right? Smack in the middle or whatever. And I cannot move it. So then I have two chests. And then I duel somebody else and lose again. And I have three chests. And so on. So I'm going to have to figure out... Um, who I want to duel, and I'm pretty much made up my mind already. So here it is. Grok the Duck Murderer. Payback from the Mighty Duck. I I challenge you to a duel to the death. Um, I say we use Hook's Arena. And it's going to be... Let's do it um, with only Iron Armor. And an unenchanted bow. No melee weapons. That's it. Iron armor and an unenchanted bow and winner takes all. Or I should say winner gives all. Okay, guys? Um, if you're watching this, make sure to let Grok know in case he misses it. That I am challenging him to a duel to the death. Because I want to get rid of this chest. And Tadi, you have it coming, buddy. This, this is a mean prank right here. Having this in the middle of... Middle of right the way right here. Like, I don't have any room anyway to run by, right? Anyways, guys, sorry. Lots of running back and forth. But um, I'm very happy how the downstairs uh, turns out. Um, again, let me know if you guys have any ideas on how to make this look better than the way it is. I have a lot to learn about landscaping. And look forward to the tutorial video about the auto crafting. And I'll catch you in the next episode, okay? Take care. Stay safe. Bye-bye.